this video is to show you how to make the labels using the query now in this query you are supposed to use the supplies table do not use both of the tables this is what most of the students did uh, wrong uh, when you use both the tables all the records of uh, both the tables will be coming in the query even if your criteria is correct so you have to use only the supplies table so let's first make the query you can use the query design or the query wizard so then the query design you can select the supplies table and in it let's add all the fields let's first do address one then address two Now the criteria is the company name contains Tawara. So contains mean hysteric, then the name, and then hysteric. So it can be anything, uh, anywhere in the middle. You can use the sorting over here, but I recommend doing the sorting in the report. So you can see the data sheet view. So only these records. And now whenever you have the labels, it will always be on a single page. Now it might be two by uh, four so eight labels you can see over here we have one two three seven labels seven records okay now after this if you select this and create the labels now for the labels we mostly use the first of all you need to change the unit of measure to metric um, by default it is sometimes english uh, although uh, like it's not uh, it will be the same but you might not understand it um, use the every one and you select find the one that has two across so mostly what we get is somewhere somewhere in the last here we have number across means like uh, in one row how many labels would be there so we use two across and these are the this is the size you can do the customization uh, let's do this one next and you can change the font size now they don't specify the font sizes but 11 is a good uh, one 10 is also good but it should be readable when you print it now here is now here is the uh, the content on a uh, one label now when you select the field it will be coming in the braces like this now this will only be the field data inside the field value now if you want the label you have to type it yourself so it's like this first you write the <coughs> the field name name then colon and then double click here then enter go to the next line we can write simple because the company name will be long so they don't specify the title or the name of the field you can make it appropriate and smaller so name is enough for the company name now remember the braces show the value of the field and the one with the brace the one you type is the name of the field just like the label on the report addresses you can um, like you can uh, do it one at one on single line you don't need to type the labels and then the postcode and then at the last we have the you can write for the telephone you can do this because it will just be numbers so it will not be clear enough next now in this one you can add the sorting finish so this is how the labels will look like you can see it's on a single page there is enough space on the table uh, on the page you must have your name on the page either once on the page footer or the page header or in uh, sometimes they mention that it has to be in every label and you also have to have a title in every label uh, according to the paper if it is mentioned in the paper so you can go to the design view and then change accordingly now this whole thing is size of one label select all the rows you can move them down then use a label 
for the title whatever title you need to add make sure to make it like bold go to home make it bold uh, let's make it black because by default it makes gray you can have 12 size the rest of the content is 11 you can add the space if you want you can add the space between the rows this is same as the other uh, report you can increase the vertical so there will be some space added or you can decrease vertical and then you can have another label at the end if you need your name on every label so your full name then your center number sa for boys and sx for girls and then your candidate number which will be your table number for now in four digits make sure that it is appropriately formatted meaning it should not be somewhere hanging in the middle um, okay now this is your title and the name if your name is required to be just on the paper you can take it let's let's see first this as a print preview now you can see every label has the title and uh, your name if you need the name just on the uh, one time on the paper you can take this block take this label to the page footer now you can see now this is again hanging somewhere in the middle uh, but you will not be losing marks for this because the thing is if we change this if we um, increase the space of this label then the label size will increase so i'm not going to change that for now you can leave it like this just make sure that your uh, um, name is uh, present over there so this is your label you can make a pdf over here i can show you the pdf and you can see this would be your printout You can put your name in the header as well.